Welcome to another Sidra Intersection 8 tutorial. In this video, we'll explore the Network tab of the Sidra Intersection 8 user interface. Please make sure to watch the other videos in this series. We have given links to these in the description section on YouTube for this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Now let's begin. In this tutorial, we will use a project with network examples already set up in the network configuration dialog. How to configure a network will be shown in a different tutorial video. The Network tab allows you to create a number of networks using the sites already set up in the Site tab. With the Plus license, networks of two sites can be modeled. With the Network license, networks of up to 20 sites can be modeled. The Educational license is restricted to networks of up to six sites. Under the Network tab, the Networks section in the Project pane displays all networks included in the current project. Select a network by clicking the Network name in the Network section. The Network name will be highlighted with a checkbox shown and will appear in the selected Network bar above the Network Input section. You can right-click the network name in the network section or click the right arrow on the selected network bar to access various functions that apply to the selected network. To access some functions that apply to the project and various network functions applicable at the project level, you can click the right arrow on the project bar, which displays the project name. The Network tab ribbon consists of Network, Network Setup, Data Summary, Network Output, and Network Flows command groups. The Layout button in the Network group in the ribbon will open a tabbed Network Layout display for the selected network in the display pane. Use the Zoom slider to zoom in and out of the display. You can also click the Zoom Size value shown on the right-hand side of the Zoom slider to open the Zoom dialog box and specify your preferred Zoom size. Double-clicking a network name will select the network and open the Network Layout display. The Network Setup group in the ribbon displays the commands to add a new network, rotate, or clone the selected network or import a network from another project. Use the Move Up, Move Down, and Delete commands to organize the networks in the Networks section of the project pane. The commands in the Data Summary group will open tabbed reports in the Display pane. Clicking an Input dialog in the Network Input section of the Project pane will open the dialog for data entry for the selected network. The Network Data dialog allows you to specify various network input parameters. You can change the network name in the Network Data dialog. An open dialog must be closed before opening another dialog. Click Cancel or press Escape to close an input dialog without any changes or click OK to accept the changes and close. If you want to make changes to an existing network, select the network and open the Network Configuration dialog. Remember to save your project frequently as the project file is not saved automatically when the changes are made. The Define CCGs dialog allows definition of common control groups for sets of directly connected signalized sites controlled by a single signal controller. First, select a network with at least two signalized sites directly connected to each other. Then, open the Define CCGs dialog. Click the Add CCG button to create a common control group and assign sites to it. When common control groups are introduced in the Define CCGs dialog, 
the CCG Phasing and Timing dialog will appear below the Define CCGs dialog. This resizable dialog includes a Select CCG tab and a set of CCG Phasing and Timing tabs, similar to the Phasing and Timing input dialog for individual sites. Network layout and CCG phase sequence displays are included within the CCG phasing and timing dialog for assisting the input data entry process and allowing direct data entry in the phase sequence picture. Click the View Display button to open the default display, or use the drop down list to open another display. Blue text in the top left corner of the display will be shown if direct data entry is allowed. Use the zoom slider or the mouse wheel to zoom in or out of the display, or specify the zoom level in the zoom dialog. Select No Display from the menu to close the In Dialog display. The Network Timing dialog includes Coordination, Signal Offsets, and Timing Options tabs for specifying network signal timings. The Network Demand and Sensitivity Input dialog provides design life, flow scale, and sensitivity analysis options similar to the Site Demand and Sensitivity Input dialog. The Network Routes dialog allows the user to select a number of routes for network output for the selected routes. Depending on the options selected under the Network Output by Routes options, the reports and displays will produce results for Approaches on the Selected Routes, which is the default selection, or for all approaches of sites on the selected routes. To view output reports and displays, you need to process the networks. The Process Network and Process All Networks commands can be accessed by clicking the down arrow on the Process button in the ribbon under the Network tab. If you click the upper part of the Process button, the Process Network command will apply, and all selected networks will be processed. Both Process Network and Process All Networks commands can be accessed through the Quick Access Toolbar. You can also access the Process Network command by clicking the arrow on the selected network bar or right-clicking the network name in the Network section. The Process All Networks command can also be accessed by clicking the right arrow on the project bar. After a network is processed successfully, you can access the network output reports and displays in the Network Output and Network Flows groups of the ribbon, and Site Output reports and displays for all sites in the network in the Site Output for Network section of the project pane. You can select several networks for creating network output reports and displays when all selected networks have been processed. When several networks are selected, the selected network bar and the sections of the project pane below it will be empty. These sections are only available when a single network is selected. You can right-click any network output report or display area to open a menu, which will allow you to access the network input dialogs and various other commands. If errors are found during processing a network, an error message will appear. The site output for network section will only contain the diagnostics report, which also includes the error message. In this case, you need to make any necessary corrections to the input data and process the network again. One or more sites can be selected in the Sites in Network section. The network output reports and displays produced for the whole network have a green header color to distinguish from different header colors opened under the Site and Root tabs. The output reports and displays produced by routes in the network output group are very similar to the ones produced by choosing the whole network 
except the header color. They have the gold header color, same as the output reports and displays opened under the root tab. To access the list of functions for organizing displays, right-click a display tab. All tabbed displays can be grouped vertically and horizontally. When a change is made in an input dialog for the selected network or a site belonging to the network and the Apply or OK button is clicked in the dialog, the tabbed displays will stay open but will be empty. The Site Output for Network section in the Project pane will only contain the Diagnostics report and the Network Output group in the ribbon will be blocked until the network is processed again. When the tabbed displays are closed, the project will still be open. This concludes our tutorial on the Network tab in Sidra Intersection 8. To learn more, please refer to the User Guide, Glossary, Help System in the Software, and other tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.